What's up, fella? So today is uh, Monday the 17th. Just got home from work a little bit ago, went for a bike ride. Got to keep an eye on my girlish figure, you know, if I don't watch it, no one else will. So um, <clears throat> I got the time slip set up. I went to the track yesterday. It was a 248 miles round trip up there and back. Uh, but it was a good time. Uh, you'll see in the video, it's like, I'm, all I'm going to do is put the, after I finish this little blah 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 thing, put the videos or the uh, go over the time slips, string all the videos together, and poof, it's on the YouTube's. I don't do. You guys are aware by now. I don't do any uh, editing of much other than stringing some videos together. Uh, I've got a Droid phone. There may be ways to do that. I'm not going to bother with it because it takes a lot of time, and that's time for me. I think would be better spent doing other things. So it's just my thing. Uh, other people want to do it their way. That's fine. Uh, so anyway, first two passes, I kind of took it easy. Just trying to get, <clears throat> you know, over the jitters. Because you got to remember the last time I was at the track, I the car came home on a stretcher because I broke the transmission. So uh, first two, kind of easy. Third one, getting back into it. Uh and it was just kind of, the car worked really good, you know, transmission, the clutch, everything worked really good on it. So it was easier for me to do it. Um, in Stupid Trooper here, I always had trouble with it, I think, because of the seat. The old, the factory police car seat was just all worn out. My boy PJ put a lot of uh, work into it, trying to make it... Um, more have more support but it just didn't it was just too far gone so um anyway i've got a old uh, an old svo seat in the red car and that has a lot of support for me and it makes it easier to drive i think so all the passes went pretty well that towards the end of the day there was some of the usual stuff from from atmore uh one car did crash and that would put the track down for like an hour and a half so I was only able to make seven total passes, but they were, you know, they were decent. I'm not, uh, I didn't guess they were right about where I expected. Uh, we did get a personal best, uh, so far, uh, Kyle came up there with his car and he had just got the engine all, uh, running that morning, yesterday morning. And he only made two passes, but he got a new personal best on his, uh, Rodney will have more information on, uh, like, the times in his uh, videos. It's kind of funny. Uh, Kyle ran almost identical to what I did. But even though he's got a lot more power, he's got different gear, and he's kind of taking it easy off the line because he don't have uh, – he's still got factory axles in the rear end on it yet. But he, he'll get some axles in there. He'll do good. He should be into the sixes. Um so I guess that's about it. I'll uh, end this and get into the time slips. All right, so these are the uh, time slips. Like I said, there were seven passes. They're kind of, they got a goofy printer up there. So the first one, reaction time point 6584. That's just me trying to get used to it again. Uh, 60 foot 188. You'll see it. I think that's the one that bogged real bad. But it ran a one at 90. You know, like I said, I always just wanted to get, go down track and hit all the gears. Second one was kind of the same way. Uh, 7, 9 at 93. That's, again, another easy one. Then the third one, kind of got back into it. Had a 153, 60 foot, which I was hoping it would do a little better on that. But uh, it ran a 717 at 97. Then the fourth one had a 153.60 foot again, ran a 7.20 at 96.8, and that was a hot lap from this one. And then we let it cool for a while, for about an hour and a half, 149.60 foot, and then a 7.13 at 97, and then another hot lap from that one, about 20 minutes later. 155 60 foot 
and this was 722 at 96. I think this one is the one where uh, I ended up being paired up with a uh, later model Mustang that was kind of a drag car because he had like five people helping him stage, and it took a long time, and there was there was not like a director up at the line telling you telling us to move forward because there had been doing like. In the left lane was uh, radio prep, and the right lane was slicks. And he had already been up there doing his burnout and stage, trying to get staged or doing through all of his uh, uh, gyrations. And that when they pulled pulled me forward, so I thought, well, okay, maybe they're doing pairs now. So I went up there and I started doing my thing, and we got up to the line, and the uh, tree didn't count down right, so we both had to back up, and it was just a uh, thing where i was expecting a full tree and end up being a pro tree so i always go on the second bulb i hit the two-step and floor it so i didn't even get to that point <laughs> so it had me all all kerfuddled so uh that one was kind of a throwaway i was start, starting to run that run him down but he had too much of a head start and this one was the last one i had a see my tires were a little low i they had 11 psi in them when i checked them cold um, uh, but it was, uh, I didn't, it was just like, I just wanted to hurry up and get the run in. I didn't want to try to get out the air compressor and all that stuff. And the track had been down for like a, almost two hours because, uh, one of the cars had crashed and I only had one guy working the line and all that. So he was up there trying to clean it up by himself, I guess. Um, like I said, that was some of the usual Atmore stuff that had always been frustrating. So on that one, I ran a 719 at 96.8. Uh, car was moving around on the top end, and I was like, all right, that's enough. That's a wrap after the shenanigans with the last two passes. I said, that's a wrap. I'm done. I made seven clean passes. Didn't miss any gears. Dr. Fear didn't eat off me today. All right, so that was the time slips. I had an abrupt ending there. I didn't. I tried not to do it that way, but that's how it worked out. So, um, all the passes, except for the first two, I had the two-step at 5,900. The shift light was at 6,000. And the tire pressure in the back was 12 PSI on the slicks. This, those runs yesterday were with my old slicks that I bought <laughs> long time ago we'll just say i think it was just before the track at holt closed the first time so uh when richard and kelly had it i made like seven or eight passes that day and then uh that was when the car was a full weight car with 306 373s i think i went 760 something at 90 that was like the personal best at the time so um Tires still work good. I mean, they're, they're fine. I don't have any issues with them. But I did buy a set of stiff walls. I mounted them on Vincent's rim. So I'm planning, excuse me, planning to go back to the track on the 30th of April if the weather permits. Pyro will, will be back. He's going to have the uh, ghost up there with those ported SVO heads. Uh, Kyle will probably be back. And Eric will be up there. So we should have the whole crew up there. Kevin will probably be up there with his uh, 55. And uh, so we should have the whole gang up there. So I'm going to bring the stiff walls and try them. And I'm going to have my lightweight tires mounted on the other uh, set of wheels. I just ran the, the heavy vision wheels on the front yesterday. And then uh, next time I'll have the lighter ones. We'll see what difference that makes. I might have to... The, the engine in the car made power to 6300. So I can turn it up higher. I was just kind of like getting back into it yesterday. So... We'll see how it works out. Hopefully the weather cooperates. Now we'll get into the videos, the part you've been waiting for. We'll see you in the next clip.
All right, we've got an old gasser, like a 60, early 60s Comet. It's like a badass. Big Block Kyle making a guest appearance. I haven't looked to see what kind of engine's in here, but this thing, uh, he, he, he rings it out. Of course, they don't put the times up. Said it's got a 440 small block forward in it and he shifts it at 9100. <laughs> that guy in the gray shirt's the one who built the engine for it. Good shit right there. That um, oil line went bad on it before. A little plastic oil line cracked the uh, barrel or something on it. Big block back together, We've got some little port, port work on the head, some bigger cam. A lot better. <laughs> 